When you're working with camera match scenes, there will be times when you'll want to tweak the position of objects in the scene. This is where the use of the 2D pan and zoom option can come in very handy. To activate the 2D pan and zoom, click the plus at the top left of the camera one viewport and select the 2D pan zoom option at the bottom of the menu. Immediately, you'll notice that the background image tiles. Also, Pay attention to the 2D pan zoom icon in the viewport navigation tools at the lower right of the interface. Now we can use the middle mouse button and scroll wheel to pan around and zoom on the area that we want to edit. Use the middle mouse button and click and drag until the post is centered in the image. Then scroll the mouse wheel up until you're zoomed in closer. You can get as close as you need. Now, hold the control key down as you click to select both the torus and the post. Then, click the Select and Move tool. In the camera viewport, move the objects over to the right in the x-axis. Now you can line up the objects with a little more fidelity. Now click Render Production from the main toolbar. When the scene renders, Notice that it renders the entire frame, not just the zoomed in portion that you're looking at. Close the render window. To turn off the 2D pan zoom, click the plus again in the upper left of the camera one viewport. Select the 2D pan zoom option to turn it off. That returns you to the regular camera view, and you can continue working from there.